Hi, third graders. I really loved looking through all of your poems that you shared with me on Tuesday. You have some really great favorites, and I'm super excited about this writing unit because it gives us the opportunity to be really creative. So just to give you an idea of where we're heading for the next few weeks, we're, our final writing project is going to be putting together our own poetry books. Um, and we're going to be making them on Book Creator because um, we can't do paper books like we normally would. Um, and each page in your poetry book is going to be a different type of poem. So over the next few weeks, we're going to focus on six different types of poems. Um, and today, the first one that we're going to focus on is something called the rhyming poem. So first, I want you to learn about it by reading a book on Epic called Rhyming Poems that I assigned to you. So it should be in your mailbox. And then you're going to try out writing your own rhyming poem and putting it on the first page of your Epic book. So I just want to show you the book I assigned to you on Epic really quickly here, um, just so there's a few parts I want to explain. This is what it looks like called Rhyming Poems. So I'm just going to open it up here. Um, this first chapter kind of just goes into the history of poems. It's really interesting to read. Um, and then it gives you an example of what a rhyming poem is. Oh, look, it's a book made of paper and ink. I feel giddy, I think, but don't mean to be smug. A book needs no plug. So you can see here where the rhyming words are. Look and book. They're at the end of each line, ink and think, and they're right next to each other, smug and plug, right? So this is A, A, B, B, C, C, right? If we were gonna assign letters to them. And then in this chapter too, I would kind of skip over this chapter. It's just kind of not something we're gonna be using. Uh, it goes over slant rhymes and then I rhymes. And those aren't real rhymes and we're not really gonna be using those. They're just kind of confusing. Um, the types of rhymes we're gonna be using are the ones that have the same sound in the last syllable of the word, the ones you're normally used to. Um, and then the rhyme schemes part here is actually really important to look over. It's got that A, A, B, B, C, C pattern there. And then um, it also gives you examples of different kinds. So this one's not A, A, B, B, C, C. This one's A, B, A, B, because fear rhymes with deer and cat rhymes with that. So rhyming poems, um, the rhyming words don't have to be right next to each other from one line to the next line. You can skip a line and have line one rhyme with line three, and then line four rhyme with line two, or two, <laughs> two rhyme with four, sorry. Um, so you can do different rhyming patterns. Um, so it's, it's really interesting. And then these tips are actually really good. Um, over here, I used uh, one of these to make my rhyming poem that I'm going to show you guys. And it says, the number three is the one I used. It said, make a list of true rhymes. Use this list to write a, a rhyming poem. Um, and so I decided on a topic first. I thought, well, I'm going to write about my dogs because everybody knows how much I love Evie and Hank. Um, and so I thought that was a great poem topic. And then I just wrote down a bunch of words that rhymed, like dog, log, jog, fun, sun, run, um, things that have to do with things I do with the dogs um, that all rhymed. And then that gave me somewhere to start from. So that would be a really good technique to use if you're kind of feeling nervous about starting your own poem or not sure where to go. Um, now I want to show you what I want you to do on Book Creator. So um, first of all, I want you to make a cover page. So let's say I want it to be like green. So I want you to make a cover page and then um, write some text on here. And I want you to title it My Book of Poetry. Oops, I want to capitalize poetry. So here's my book and, oh gosh, poetry should all be capitalized. Then I'm going to skip a couple lines and I'm gonna, I want you to write by and I'll write by Mrs. W, but you'll put your name obviously. And I'm going to put done. I'm going to make that bigger. And I want to make the font bigger. Well, maybe not that big. And then I want to move it over to the center. Um, and then if you want to change the color of the font um, or the type of font that it is, you can do that. You guys know how to do that. But these are the two main things you need. You need a background color, title, 
and the author's name. And then for your next page, I want you to, again, pick like a nice background color. And then I want you to insert a text box. And I want you to put as a title for the first page, rhyming poem. Oops, I'm going to capitalize rhyming and poem. Rhyming poem. And then I want you to make up a title for your poem based on what your topic is. So I'm going to put fun, oops, fun with my dogs. Okay. And then below that, I want you to actually type up your poem that you made. Um, the nice thing about Book Creator is um, you can go back and edit it and change things all the time. So that's why I thought we should use this. So here's the one I came up with today. Everyone knows that, oh my gosh, sorry for my typing. I love my dogs, comma. Sometimes I even take them on early, I'll just say morning, that might be too many words. Let's see how that sounds. Everyone knows that I love my dogs. Sometimes I even take them on my morning jogs. Sounds pretty good because they have about the same syllables in each line and dogs and jogs rhymes. Now I'm going to go to my next line and I'm going to put we always, whoopsies, <laughs> always have amazing fun, comma, especially when we get to be in the sun, because you know I love the sun. Um, and then we'll, I'm going to read those lines back to myself and see if it sounds good. We always have amazing fun, especially when we get to be in the sun. It sounds good because they have about the same amount of syllables. And also because fun and sun rhyme, you know I love the sun. Then I'm going to push done. Um, again, I want you to size it so that it fits the page. Um, move it around, center it. I want you to make the um, font maybe a little bit bigger if you think it looks better, a little bit bigger so it's easier to run, but it doesn't mess up your lines because you want it to look really nice. And then maybe change the, um, the font, the color. You can add um, little stickers or little decorations. I want you to be as creative as possible, um, but just remember the main things that you need a title that looks like this and that you need rhyming words on the ends of your lines. I did the poem A, A, B, B pattern, um, but you could do A, B, A, B if you wanted to try that out too. Um, then you click out of the box when you're done editing it, um, and that's all you're going to do for today is just create your title page and then your rhyming poem page. Um, so I hope you guys have as much fun with this as I did. Um, I really love making poems. So, um, when you're done, Remember that you have to take a screenshot of it and upload it to this assignment on Schoology um, because otherwise I won't see that you have it done. Okay, and we've talked about that in other videos, so I'm sure you remember how to do that. All right, guys, have fun.